What's up guys? So a little bit of backstory before we get started on how I landed on doing an external drive for a tech video instead of something else. So if you guys don't know, Google recently launched their Google Pixel 3a and I was going to do an impressions video on my thoughts on it, which the summary of it is I think they have enough problems trying to get a $900 phone to work properly. I think doing a $400 phone is probably a bad idea if they can't actually make it work with $900. I doubt they can make it work with $400. And that was going to be the gist of the video. But then I realized that the last phone video I did was my rant on the Galaxy Fold and how I had a bunch of problems with it. Yeah, it does all these things and we removed all these features that we already made fun of Apple for, but why? It folds. And I didn't want to seem like I was just complaining about a bunch of phones that I have a problem with, especially considering they were all Android phones. I could already see and hear the Google hater, Apple fanboy comments. I could already hear them. I could already see them. So instead, I figured I would switch gears and focus on something from Samsung that I actually use on a daily basis and genuinely enjoy. So for this video, we're going to be reviewing the Samsung T5 SSD, or SSDs. Let's get started. So the most common use for any sort of external storage is either flash drives or full-size external drives. Flash drives tend to be used when people are looking to move storage around fairly frequently. They don't want something big and they just want to plug it in, move the file, take it somewhere else, drop it there, and you're done. External drives, on the other hand, give you the benefit of more storage in one place that you can plug in or remove. This is very beneficial if you have a laptop that either doesn't need all this data saved to it and you just want something in one place, or if you don't have enough space on the computer to begin with. This is actually more common than you think, especially considering that a lot of computers nowadays are shipping with solid state drives, but the disadvantage of that is a lot of laptops want to save costs, so they ship with 128 and maybe 256 gigabytes of storage. And coming from the perspective of someone who was in college for video work, 256 gigs, even at the upper option is not enough. And this is the instance where a lot of people go and buy external drives. But the problem is, is a lot of people buy these kind of external drives. This is a Western Digital Easy Store one terabyte hard drive. And it's fairly compact. It's not super big, but it is essentially just a housing for a two and a half inch traditional laptop hard drive, spinning media, about 4,500 or 5,400 RPM. I always get those backwards. 5,400 RPM drive, which doesn't go very fast, and then a little USB 3 plug at the front. It's not great, and the problem with these is because there is spinning media in them, throwing them in your backpack, dropping them, general use, shaking them around like what I'm doing here, is not good for the internals. This is actually very easy to kill if it takes a bad spill, or if you happen to just move it around in your backpack the wrong way. They're just long-term not as reliable. And that for me became a really big problem when I started doing a lot more video editing on the go. I was burning through these Western digital drives like they were free, which they're not, they're like 60 bucks. And 60 bucks is not bad for a one terabyte option. I mean, you're getting a lot of storage, but if that storage doesn't last you because you're moving around a lot and you're killing the drives, it really makes no difference what the price is because you're still losing data. So when I saw that you can get a one terabyte SSD for 160 bucks, that kind of interested me because for a lot of people, 160 bucks is fairly expensive, but if it saves your documents, it saves your footage, saves whatever, and you can basically toss it around and it doesn't matter what happens to it, that right there seems to me like it's worth it. Now, of course, just like Samsung always loves to talk about, there are options. And there are a lot of options with these. There are going to be four options, actually. 256 gigabytes, 500 gigabytes, a one terabyte, and a two terabyte. Now, I personally have the one terabyte version and the 500 gigabyte version because these were the only ones that seemed to be viable for me. And you'll notice they're different colors. So if you have a one terabyte or larger, you get this really cool black aluminum style drive. And if you go with the less expensive 90 or under option with a 500 gig or 256 gig option, yeah, essentially if you spend anywhere up to $90, you get blue and it's... Not a bad color, but it shows scratches a lot more than the black. I don't know if that's the way they coded it or what, but that's just kind of weird. But you have options. You can get 250 gigs if you don't need a whole lot, but you want a small portable drive. You can go with 500 gigabytes, which is pretty much the best balance for price for me, and I think for a lot of people, because it's a $90 drive, which is a little steep for 500 gigabytes, but it's solid state. It's reliable. Then you also get a one terabyte drive and a two terabyte drive, which 
The one terabyte is kind of the uppermost that I would recommend spending on an external solid state drive at this point, only because with two terabytes, that is such a niche that if you're buying one, you know you need one. And if you don't think you need one, you probably don't. Now, I keep banging on about durability, which is a big factor when it comes to external drives, because these are meant to be taken around, they're meant to be moved, and it's pretty much one of the biggest reasons why I bought one. But the other benefit is the speed. These things are so fast. They are significantly faster than a traditional external hard drive. Samsung claims that it's 4.9 times faster. I would give them that just because I know that there are a few external drives out there that can be kind of quick, but they're still sluggish when you compare them to a solid state drive. Like seriously, these things connect over USB-C, which if you guys don't have a USB-C port, you can still connect through a traditional USB-A, though I have a MacBook Pro with the Thunderbolt 3 connection, so I am fully on board with that USB-C life. And with that plug type, this thing will transfer at 540 megabytes per second. That's not megabits, that's megabytes per second. That's half a gigabyte in one second. That means that in two seconds, you can literally have an entire gigabyte of data transferred over. If you transfer like a four gigabyte movie, it takes no time at all. It's insane. This also means that if you do things like me, where you're doing photo editing or video editing, it's going to feel almost as fast as the drive inside the computer. Or if it's not quite as fast as the drive in the computer, you won't notice much of a speed decrease and definitely not nearly as much of a speed decrease as you would if you're running it off of a traditional hard drive. All this together means that for me, I can dump all of my Final Cut libraries and all of the footage onto one of these solid state drives, edit an entire project, export it, upload it, all of that on the go at the same speed that I would being hooked up to my main desktop setup, running everything off the internal drive, and I can take it and unplug it and put it somewhere safe when I'm done or throw it down a flight of stairs and not lose all my data. It's such a wide variety of capabilities with these drives. Now it does come with some software. It comes with an encryption key tool and a backup tool. I didn't end up using either of these because I use Time Machine for my backup and I, <laughs> I've never taken these drives anywhere where I think I'm gonna lose them. And in the case that I do, there's nothing on there that would really be compromising anyway. Though, if that is interesting to you, especially the encryption key, I know security is a big thing for a lot of people and you do have that with the included software. At the end of the day, I know I bashed on Samsung very hard for their mobile technology, especially on the Galaxy Fold. I personally don't think that folding phones are the future. I think they're the 3D televisions of the 2019s and just issues I have with their approach to mobile technology in general. But this, this is a home run if I've ever seen it from Samsung. It hits everything right on the head. It's innovation, not just for innovation's sake, but innovation for the sake of making sure that your data gets where it needs to, and it's protected and it's reliable. I mean, seriously, I've used these things for so long that I have six of them, six of these drives, and every single one of them has a job that I use it for regularly. So if you're looking for a reliable, fast, fairly inexpensive, cool looking, portable, all the other terms you would want to look for for a positive note on a drive, get a Samsung T5 drive. These things are incredible. And if you really have the extra dough, go and buy the X5. That runs off Thunderbolt 3, which if you're running on a Mac, you have. If you're running on a PC, you're going to want to check. That will transfer at almost two gigabytes per second. That is insane. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the X5. That's just something you guys can look up on your own. I haven't even bought one yet, but I am definitely going to buy one or maybe another T5. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you guys think? Do you think you might get one of these after my review? Do you not care? Do you want to know where Fairy Tale is going to be at the end of the month? I want to know that too. I want to know if my channel is going to be up by the end of the month with some strikes. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check out my merch. I have merch down below that you can check out as well as going to the, uh, there's like a little banner below. You can check out the page and buy a shirt if you want. It's cool. Anyway, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to be there and have a good one.